Let's help you get set up with uh, Morgan Stanley Wealth Management Chief Investment Officer Lisa Shallon, who's back with us. Lisa, always a pleasure. Good to see you again. Great to see you, Carl. So, uh, market's done a lot of wood chopping here. Uh, it's been hard to shake you off of your cautious stance. Where, where are you on that? Well, look, I want to be super clear. Um, when we talk about our caution, what we're really talking about is uh, the market cap weighted S&P 500, which, as we know, has become extraordinarily concentrated in those, you know, top five, top, five, top seven, top ten names, however you want to define it. Uh, but we're not, you know, cautious about things to do, right? We know that uh, that the U.S. economy has been extraordinarily strong, surprising almost all expectations, including the Fed's. Uh, and that, you know, tends to be good for value-oriented styles, for cyclicals, for industrials, for parts of consumer discretionary. Uh, and so, you know, we're encouraging opportunities there. And we're encouraging opportunities, quite frankly, in investment-grade bonds as well, where, you know, we've been in the camp that says these rates are going are gonna to hang in there. Yes, we're biased, uh, you know, that rates are to the downside. But with yields where they are, they compete very effectively uh, with stocks. So lots of things to do. We're just not, you know, jumping on chasing uh, that market cap weighted index right here. When it comes to the Fed, I think we had a graphic a moment ago. I think you're still in the May-June camp. I am curious, though, how you expect uh, the rhetoric, at least, to begin to shift so as they prep the market for that time, if, in fact, that's what happens. Uh, yeah, look, I, I think the Fed is going to have a tougher time because the, the data flow, certainly since December, uh, has not, um, on the growth side of things or on the labor side of things, suggested any signs of weakness. Uh, the inflation data has been certainly a bit more cooperative. Uh, and, uh, you know, we have we have said to folks that it, we've got may have gotten a little bit too much good news on that score where, you know, uh, the the fourth quarter related inflation numbers may be exaggeratedly fl flattered uh, by very low commodity prices, by the tailwinds on oil and, and gasoline prices uh, and manufactured goods disinflation that really has been accelerated by weakness in China. So we think inflation might be lumpy. So to answer your question, uh, we think the Fed's going to have to do a little bit of a rhetorical dance, uh, certainly leading into March. But, you know, to get closer to mid-year, uh, that's when this lumpier data, uh, I think, could, could be challenging for them. Uh, and I think they're going to have to start talking about uh, cuts in the context of a broader uh, program that includes potentially tapering their, their quantitative tightening program, which uh, I believe is what this is all really about. Yeah, I mean, the market's excited about all of the, all of the above. Lisa, what do you say to people who have been putting money into those money market funds, right, that are getting high rates into cash? We're expect, we were expecting in 2024 that would start to come out as we've seen rates come down, but it really hasn't. So should people continue to do that or should they chase yield elsewhere? Uh, look, I, I think we've been very clear. 5.4 percent and or those types of rates are at a 17 year high and we understand why they're attractive for people. But we've also signaled that they're likely to be short lived and we can't time these things. Uh, and so as we go into uh, a rate cutting cycle, that really is when you want to put your cash to work. Uh, we have encouraged folks to put that money to work in a very diversified manner, as I said, uh, you know, buying stocks, but buying them in a little bit more of an equal weighted or actively uh, managed stock selection type approach, uh, buying into uh, investment grade credit, uh, maybe adding some of the real assets and, and uh, things of that nature. And certainly for our clients who tend to be uh, on the wealthier side, uh, they can participate in alternatives like hedge funds or the private markets.